don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and like. See how this is Princess. Hi, Fox. Today we are going to be making a collage to learn about the main keys of the piano. So this is what the project's going to look like when it's all done. We're just going to be focusing on an eight note octave and we're also going to be looking a little bit about the pattern that the keys make. First, let me talk about some of the materials that we need. So you're going to need some glue, you're going to need scissors, and you're going to need three pieces of construction paper, just the nine by 12 construction paper. If you already have some construction paper with drawings on them and you don't mind cutting them up, that will make your collage look really neat. And then some optional materials are maybe a black pen, a red pen, and some colored pencil. If you're on the young side, you may need some help with the cutting and maybe the gluing from a parent. Collage means cut paper in French. First, you're gonna find which piece of paper you want to be your background that you're gonna glue everything on. You're gonna set that aside, and then I want you to pick the color of paper that you want to be the white keys on the piano. I'm gonna use yellow for mine, and I'm gonna fold it in half. We're just gonna open up that paper. We're gonna take our scissors, and we're just gonna very carefully cut. So now we're just gonna set aside one of those pieces. We're just gonna work with the one. We're gonna fold this strip in half. So I'm lining it up before I make my crease. Take one of the edges and I'm gonna fold it in. So now, how many pieces do we have? We have four sections. One, two, three, four. We need eight, so we need to make each one in half, okay? So here we go. We're gonna open, we've all up, we've got our four sections. We're gonna take our outside edge we're gonna fold it in to the first crease, not the middle, but the first crease there. Right, so that first section is now in half, right? Half is big. We're gonna keep that folded this time. We're gonna flip the paper all the way over and fold back. So we're just gonna fold back on the crease we've already made. Then we're gonna flip it over like a pancake and take the edge and fold it in to the middle. We're gonna keep that folded up and we're gonna go to the other side. Now let's look to see what we have. Let's open it up and look what we have. We have eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are gonna be our keys. Now, I could just glue it down, right? But I want to physically make the keys, okay? So I'm gonna take my scissors and very carefully, I'm gonna cut along each of the folds. Now, when I make a collage, I always like to lay it out, see what I have. So, and they fit exactly all the way across. So they have to be pretty close together. I'm gonna get my glue. Take the first one, and I like to make a little box around the edge, and then I kind of make a little squiggle down the middle. We don't need a ton of glue. It's just paper we're gluing down, and then I'm gonna go all the way to the edge, right up against the edge again. There we go. So there are our eight keys, right? But that doesn't look like a piano, does it? So what we need to add are the black keys, the in-between keys as I always like to think of it. So we're gonna grab a red piece of paper and we're gonna fold it in half, just like we did our yellow piece of paper. And I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna carefully cut along that fold. Now this is where our optional materials can come into play. So you can see in my example, I have some 
squiggles or scribbles on those black keys or what represent the black keys in the artwork. So if you're using a piece of paper that you may have already drawn on, you don't have to do this part. But if you're working on fresh pieces of paper like I am right now, you can grab a black marker or maybe some colored pencils or crayons. And I don't want you to make a whole artwork, but we can, let's see, what might look good here? Maybe some orange actually. So now that we've done that, we're gonna to continue to make our keys. We're gonna fold that in half. We're gonna take our outside edge and we're gonna fold it in. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, taking that edge, folding it in. So now we've got our four pieces, one, two, three, four. And we've gotta now do the same accordion fold we did on our yellow piece. All right, so now we've got our accordion fold. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. However, we won't need all eight pieces because we only need five of those black keys to fit in that octave. So what we're gonna do, we have to make them a little smaller. This is the way I'm gonna do it. So you can follow along or kind of deviate a little bit. I always encourage deviation in art. Keeping it all folded up like this. We're gonna take the scissors. I'm gonna cut maybe like an inch off. And now after that, we're gonna to have to make them a little thinner too, but we're gonna cut the pieces apart first. I stack those pieces up to make them all the same size. I'm gonna shave some paper off. Here are now my five black keys. And I'm just gonna, again, lay them out. If you've seen a whole piano, it's not white key, black key, white key, black key, white, there's these spaces. Princess and Fox will talk a little bit more about that. It helps you know where to put your hands. It kind of breaks up the pattern a little bit. It is a pattern, but there's a break in the pattern to know where keys are on the piano. So it's kind of a tool to help you when you're sitting at the piano. In that eight note octave, we've got two black keys, and then we skip, and then we've got a group of three, just like that. This is our section of the piano we're dealing with. I like gluing these a little higher, just provides some visual interest. So let's take our glue, start with my first one. I'm gonna make my box around the edges. A little scribble down the middle. And I've gotta put another key. Now I skip this one, this seam here, I skip that one. And I'm gonna go to this one over here. So this is just a little tricky to make sure you get this next one in the right spot. So I'm gonna skip one and then I go over to the next, gluing it down, overlapping. And then I've got two more here. And last one. That so here we have it. We have our eight note octave. It's this, a scale, represents a full scale on part of the piano. And I'm gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna take a red marker. You can take um, a colored pencil or crayon. And I am going to draw a circle on this first key here. And that's gonna be your starting key that Princess and Fox will be talking about, okay? So that's it. That's our art project for today. We made a collage of the eight note octave on part of the piano. I hope you had fun. Bye Princess, bye Fox, happy learning.